name is Gaurav and today I'm going to, I'm going to take your class on problem solving. The topic is apple and orange. Now, what is the problem statement? Let us see. The problem statement is saying that Sam House has an apple tree and an orange tree that yield an evidence of fruit. Using the information of given below, determine the number of apples and oranges that lands on the Sam's house. After that, it is saying that in the diagram below, the diagram is here, okay? I will explain you, just give me a minute. Okay, the problem is saying, the red region denotes the house of Sam, where S is the starting point and T is the end point. Here, here it is a diagram. We are talking about Sam's house. So the starting point of Sam's house is S, this is S. And the end point of uh, Sam's house is T, this is T, okay? So S and T is denoting starting at the end point of the Sam's house. Now, what, uh, what about other thing? Assume that the tree are located on the same point where the apple tree is at point A and the orange tree is at point B. Here it is. Apple tree is at point A and orange tree is at point B. Now, what it is saying? When the fruit falls on its tree, from its tree, it lands T units of distance from its tree of origin along the x-axis. A negative value of T means fruit falls D units to the tree left and a positive value of T means it falls D unit from the tree right. Now the what problem is all about saying is uh, you have to determine the number of apples and oranges that lands on the Sam house. Now, according to the diagram, let me explain you again. Here it is the Sam's house. It is starting from S and ending at T. Okay. There's an apple tree at point A and there's an um, orange tree at point B. Now, if, uh, if someone um, fruit falls, it will go either on the right hand side or the, on the left hand side. Suppose this is an axis. This is an x axis. Now, if fruit will. Um, will not on be on a tree, it is on the land, then on the right hand side, it will be on a D distance. Here it is. This is the distance from that tree. It will be positive if it is on the right hand side and negative if it is on the left hand side. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to determine number of apples as well as number of oranges that are in between S and D or indirectly in natural language, we will say on Sam's house because Sam's house is in between S and T. Now, what other things about the problem? The function description. We used to fulfill a function in hacker rank. This is a hacker rank problem. We have to fill a function. And the, what the function is saying all about? We have to complete a function that is count apple and oranges. The name of the function is count apple and oranges in the given editor. And what are the parameters it is using as assistance does? Starting point of Sam's house, as I have told you earlier, the things are same. T is the ending point of the Sam's house. A is the location of apple tree. B is the location of orange tree. Now, there is an integer array, apple and orange. That is a counting, that is a, that has distances at which apple falls, it is in apples. And Oranges has distance at which each orange falls from the tree. D distance, what I have told you earlier, this one. D distance, okay. So what are the input formats? We have to consider this thing also because hacker rank is too much restricted about input or output format. The first line contains two space separated integers denoting the respective value of S and T. Uh, that is the starting point of Sam House and end point of Sam's house. The second line contains two space separated integer denoting the respective value of A and B. A is the point of uh, apple tree and B is the point of orange tree. The third line contains two space separated integer denoting respective value of M and N. M is the total number of apples and N is the total number of oranges. Okay. The fourth line contains M space separated integer denoting the respective distances 
that each apple falls from A. D is the distance. What I have told you earlier, that uh, we have to put that those things in apples or oranges. The distances. So here are the distances. Fourth line contains distance from M. Sorry, distance from A. That is that will be denoted with M. And uh, fifth line contains distance from B. That means from orange. And that will be denoted with M. Okay. Now what are the constraints? Constraints is saying that the value of S, D, A, B, M, and these are the variables. I have already told you what are the meaning of these variables. Is it in between one to 10 to the power five? And the distance is also in between minus to plus 10 to the power five. Minus is there because in the, the fruit will fall either on the left hand side or on the right hand side. And one more thing, one, one important thing is there that a is always less than S A is the point where uh, the apple tree is. S is in between T and A and B is highest point. You can see that on the diagram also. Here it is. A, S will always be greater than A. T will be always greater than S and A. And B will be always greater than A, S and T. Okay. So... And these are the these were the constraints. Now, what are the input format is saying? Print two integers on two different lines. First integer contains the number of apples that fall on the Sam's house. In the second integer, that the number of oranges that falls on Sam's house. Now, we'll, we'll explain you this problem with an example. Suppose Sam house is in between S7 and 10, that starting point is S, that is 7, and end point is T, that is 10. So Sam house is in between 7 to 10. The apple tree is located at point 4, A is equal to 4, and orange tree at point 12. Suppose there is an x-axis, in that x-axis, at point in between 7 to 10, Sam is house, Sam's house is there. At point A or point 4, apple tree is located, Net point B that is on 12, or it is located. Now M is equal to 3, and there are three apples and three oranges. The apples thrown, the value of apple, the array that I was telling you earlier, that has value, distance value is 2, 3, and minus 4. 2, 3, and minus 4. And in the similar way, orange array has value 3, minus 2, and minus 4. Now we have to count those number of apples and oranges that are in between 5 to 10. Now what we have to do, we have to add these numbers to this, this number. 4 plus 2, that is 4 plus 2 is 6. Just let me tell you how I am doing that. This is the distance, right? So distance is already given and we have point A and point B. So we have to add that distance to the point A as well as to the point B. So that whatever we will have in, in result after adding that, that will tell that is, is that fruit is in between or not. Okay, if you, I will add A distance D to A, it will tell you either it is on in between S and T or it is not. So it will give you my resultant answer. So the problem says, here are the distances 2, 3, and minus 4. From A is the location of apple tree. Okay, 4 plus 2 distance. A plus 4, that is 6. So here it is 6. Again, from 4, distance is 3. 4 plus 3, that is 7. And the third distance is minus 4. That means 4 minus 4, 0. In the similar way, we have to count in distance from the orange also. The point of orange is 12 and the distances are 3, minus 4, 2 and minus 4 respectively. So B plus 2 means 12 plus 3. Here it is, 12 plus 3 is 15. 12 minus 2, uh, we are adding but there is minus 2 because the apple fall on the left hand side. That's why there is a negative value. So 12 minus 2, that is 10. And in the similar manner, 12 minus 4, that is 8. So the final result we have is 6, 7, 10, and 15, 10, 8. So 
according to the coordinate in between 7 to 10 there are only one apple and two oranges that's why it is mentioning one apple and two oranges land inclusive range in between 7 to 10 and this is our answer so this is a mathematical problem more mathematical problem now we have to fulfill that function on a hacker rank here it is the function function in the program what i have done i have taken three variables i for for loop ap for apple count and op for orange count now for loop is starting from zero to apple count number of apples that are on the last that lands on the ground and in that for loop in between s and t is greater than s and less than t whatever the values are you, they, they were in between sam's house so that's why there is a p plus plus means a a was the location of apple tree hey what this array is doing this array is you know, fetching out distances so from a we are so we are adding distance and in the similar way a is adding distance and of apple and those values who are in between s and t they are on the sam sam's house okay so we are this is only about apple okay this is all about the apple count this is increasing the apple count in the similar way if we are we want to increase the apple count so that those oranges that is in between s and t we will increase those values op in the similar manner whatever we have done in our apple count okay and after that ap and op got printed okay let me go to hacker rank and tell you how i'm doing this now here is the same example what i have done this is the hack as i have told you earlier that this is a hacker rank problem and these are the description okay now on the hacker rank this is the function and the same code i have done that i have told you earlier now i will run this code my test case is right conversation you have passed sample test case now i will submit my code and let me see is it okay or not so all test cases are done that means my codes are good my code is right and this is the solution of the problem that is called apple and orange so thank you